You've got two pipes going into a tank. Okay. So again, I'm going to draw it. And again, I'm going to see if I can simplify things a little bit. Okay. So here's my tank. I've got one pipe in and another pipe in. Okay. And we're considering what happens when each one fills up the tank. Okay. So if I use both tanks, both pipes rather, both pipes. They tell me it takes 80 minutes to fill up, okay? Now, instead of writing down 80 minutes, I'm going to write this in hours because in a second, they're about to give me units in terms of hours. I'm trying to make this easy to solve. So if I can choose between big units, you know, 80, 120, blah, 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 or small units like 4 over 3, then I'm going to choose small ones, okay? Then they tell you information about the other two pipes. Individually, they say the small pipe, and then the larger pipe. Okay, now at this point you must introduce a variable. Okay, you must introduce a variable, but you have a choice. Which one would you like it to be? Okay, so I'm gonna use T for time. Okay, I'm gonna say the large pipe takes T hours. Okay, which means the small pipe, which takes longer, is going to be? T plus two hours. Okay, now whichever you do, you've gotta be consistent, but I've done it this way because I don't know, I just like positives, I'm racist, whatever. Okay, so, there you go, there's my numbers, right? Now, just like before we have a problem in that it's hard to deal with these quantities because they are times. Much easier to deal with these if you have rates, okay? Which is why later on one of the topics in calculus is rates of change, because they're easier to work with than times, okay? So if I consider a tank of volume V, okay, volume V. Let's just think about this and climb up the ladder, okay? If it takes T hours to fill up with this large pipe, and the whole volume is V, V liters, what's the rate going in of this one down here? T what's the rate? T over T. It's going to be volume over T, right? Because if you think about it, suppose I had 100 liters, and it takes me two hours, I'm going to go 100 divided by two to get 50 liters per hour. Does that make sense? Speed right. Yeah, speed is velocity over time is another way to think about it. So V over T for this, for this large pipe. What about for the small pipe? It's going to be the same volume, but it's going to be a longer time. And look, this makes sense. A larger denominator means a smaller number overall because the smaller pipe is slower. All right, how about both pipes? It's going to be V over... Four on three. That's a fraction on a fraction. I'm just going to flip it over. That's going to be three V on four. Okay, make sense? All right, but hold on. Large pipe, large pipe, small pipe, both pipes. These two rates should be equal to this rate, right? When I put them together, that's what adding, that's what turning both of them on does. So V over T plus V over T plus two should be three V on four. And now you can see why it doesn't matter what the volume is, because the question is the same irrespective of volume, just like last time. So I've cancelled out all my volumes. So now I have this. And now all I need to do is to convert this into the appropriate quadratic equation. How shall I do that? Common denominator, multiply through to get rid of those kinds of things. I'm going to multiply through by 4t squared plus 2t. That'll take care of the 4. The t squared plus 2t will get rid of this. I should end up with a 4 outside of t plus 2 there, a 4t there, and a 3t squared plus 2t there, I think. Okay. From there, what's going to happen? You're going to get a quadratic of some kind. Right? Don't move. If I've got it right written down correctly, you should simplify out. There's going to be a 3t squared there. You're going to end up with this. And when you go and pull out the formula on that, one of your solutions will be negative, and the other one will be t equals 2. So one pipe will take 2 hours, and the other will take 4. Okay?